So this is a very nice question from electrostatics, uh, the Gauss theorem, and uh, they have asked what is the uh, closed integral e dot d a because of a spherical shell which is uh, having some surface charge density sigma, and this is the Gaussian sphere. So both are of radius r and they are intersecting each other like this. So this is the center of the first sphere and this is the center of the second sphere. So you can see they are intersecting. So our idea is just to get how much charge is enclosed in the Gaussian surface because that will be equal to charge enclosed over epsilon naught. So that will be equal to sigma into that area which is uh, intersected by the Gaussian surface uh, from the spherical shell and uh, over epsilon naught. So our idea is to get that area. Okay. So now for that, please see this. If this is the Gaussian surface, this is the sphere or this is the sphere, this is the Gaussian surface, doesn't matter. So how much area they are intersecting. So that is important. So if you see a sphere, you can take a small patch on the sphere and that small area will be equal to r square uh, sine theta d theta and d phi. So the this problem is just about calculating that area of intersection of that sphere. Okay, one sphere and another one is Gaussian surface. So this is the area. So now you can see that uh, this is r, which is the radius. This is also r, and this is also the r. So this is uh, uh, equilateral triangle. This is also r. This is also r. So this is equilateral triangle. So this angle is 60 degree. So if I take a spherical polar coordinate system, and if I take a small patch of area on the surface, which is given by this, so what will be this total area? It will be just r square into 2 pi because of this d phi, and this will be integral 0 to 60 degree. So 60 means pi by 3 and sine theta d theta. This is the area so that we are going to get r square into 2 pi. So sine theta will be in integral it will be cos theta and uh, 0 to pi by 3. Okay. So this will be equal to 2 pi r square and minus cos of 60 degree will be minus half and minus cos 0 minus minus will become plus that will be equal to 1. So this will be equal to pi r square. So pi r square will be that area which will be intersected by the another sphere of same radius. So uh, what will be this answer? So it will be just sigma into pi r square over epsilon naught. Okay. So as you see such questions, you should immediately go to the coordinate system, see the small area, small volume in spherical polar coordinate systems, in cylindrical coordinate systems, even in Cartesian coordinate system, how we take a small area and how we integrate. Because you won't get the same question again. But the idea is same that if you have to learn how to apply Gauss theorem, the main thing is you should know the small elements taken in different coordinate systems and how they are integrated to get the required result. Okay. Thank you.